Hello, everyone. Welcome to APP 101 Breakout. Today, we'd like to introduce Google Distributed Cloud Hosting Mode. My name is Andy Quinn. I'm a product manager in Google Cloud. I'm here with my colleague, Ray. Hi there. I'm Ray Colleen, and I'm a software engineer who works on Google Cloud, and it's great to be here. In this session, we'll first look at market pain points and the limitation of existing solutions. And then we will introduce Google solution in terms of how it's defined and what's the key strengths and the characteristics. And we will then dive deep into the product areas like platform, services, and support. Today, the public clouds provide amazing results and benefits. So it seems everything is moving to public cloud. But the reality is that not all workloads can move to public cloud for different reasons. Regulatory, IP protection, sovereignty concerns. Those workloads that stayed private, it's very challenging for them to leverage all the cool innovation from cloud technologies to empower their business. And oftentimes, those are very special and specific part of their business. As we know in public clouds, the infrastructure is quite transparent. Users do not need to care about the gory details of things like hardware operation. However, that's not the case for private cloud. In the legacy private clouds, customers still have to spend a lot of time managing their infrastructure. And the most obvious pinpoint is that customer will end up with a public cloud and private cloud with different development models and toolings. The resulted inconsistency impacts the business agility. The market pinpoints are very clear, but if you look at the existing solutions out in the marketplace, they don't address all those pinpoints. As we know, some products are built on proprietary stack. There's no consistency between that and the public cloud. Application developed in private mode can be, cannot be easily ported to the public cloud. Very difficult to achieve right once and run anywhere go. Some private cloud products are very infrastructure service oriented. No advanced cloud innovations like AI ML services and data analytics. And the management methodologies are very legacy. For example, the modern declarative policy paradigm is quite common in public cloud but most private cloud are still using the legacy imperative tools to manage their systems. Some private cloud products do meet most requirements. However, they require connections back to their cloud region for the control plane to even function. This pose a huge challenge for sensitive workloads, especially in the specific market segments like defense and critical infrastructure. Google Cloud recognizes those market pain points and the clear gaps in the marketplace. We are going to offer a solution that can directly solve those challenges. The solution is called Google Distributed Cloud Hosting Mode. There are three key things to highlight on this solution. First, it doesn't require connections back to public cloud. All control plane, data plane, match plane can be local. It helps to meet the sovereignty and the regulatory requirements. Second, it comes with highly differentiated advanced services like AI ML and the data analytics. We believe those services are critical to empower customers to stay competitive in their own markets. And the third, it leverages open source and open API. This provides an automated portability and software survivability which are super important to both business agility and the sovereignty needs. At this particular point in time, the Google Distributed Cloud hosted mode is still a pre-GA product. We are working hard to bring this to the market soon. Besides the three key things, I think it's important to look at the characteristics and the key strengths of Google Distributed Cloud hosted mode. The name hosting mode tells a lot about location and control. The solution can be deployed at a customer designated data center, 
even in a totally air-gapped environment. This solution is not just an infrastructure play. It comes with Google advanced services like AML. The power of those technologies and Google's years of expertise are no longer limited to the public cloud. With Google Distributed Cloud hosted mode, customers can now enjoy those on their own premise. Another strength worth highlighting is that the entire solution is flexible. It comes as pre-assembled and pre-configured racks and delivered to your data center as a service. It can scale from one rack to a couple racks and to hundreds of racks. It has local control plane built in, so it covers all sovereignty dimensions, data sovereignty, operational sovereignty, and software sovereignty. Well, it's built by Google Cloud, so it inherits the cloud DNA. Open and modern are the design philosophies we follow when we build this solution. We believe this solution will meet the needs of many industries where they have sensitive workloads and they cannot move to the public cloud. But they still want to leverage the modern innovation from cloud. Public sector is a prime example of those industries. With that, let me invite my colleague Ray to talk about what exactly is in this solution and what are the key capabilities. Thank you, Andy. So we're going to get into a little bit of uh, the technology that makes up Google Distributed Cloud Hosted Mode. And we'll start with you know, the lowest level, the hardware. So Google Distributed Cloud Hosted Mode is full racks of hardware optimized to deliver an air-gapped cloud experience. These racks include modern hardware from top OEM providers, including HPE, NetApp, and Cisco. All of the infrastructure management is taken care of by Google Distributed Cloud. These are things like operating system upgrades, firmware upgrades, switch OS upgrades, uh, NetApp upgrades, etc. All are taken care of as part of Google Distributed Cloud. It also includes GPUs for AIML workloads, and it includes storage block file, or sorry, block file and object storage, right, in a redundant manner. It also includes high performance networking. And in fact, each node has full bandwidth to all the other nodes within a GDC instance. And these instances can be up to 10,000 vCPUs. In addition, it's Kubernetes all the way down. So Andy spoke earlier about it being open, right? We've taken that and we've introduced Kubernetes APIs all the way down into the infrastructure management layer so that the notion of an OS upgrade is actually controlled through the reliability of, of Kubernetes. Google Distributed Cloud Hosted Mode is a full air-gapped cloud solution, standalone from any other cloud. And so it comes with sophisticated multi-tenancy. As we know in public clouds, things like GCP have the notion of organizations and projects, and one creates a project before doing anything on GPC, creating a VM, creating a cluster, creating a database. Within Amazon, one creates an account to do the same thing. Well, GDC introduces the notion of fleets and fleet namespaces, to provide that level of resource management and tenancy within a GPC instance. Fleets are hardware separated from each other, allowing a single GPC instance to serve multiple applications with good security guarantees between them. And fleet namespaces like Amazon accounts and GCP projects provide isolation between teams and components of applications. Policy control is built in from the beginning. As we said earlier, we're Kubernetes all the way down. So all the APIs benefit from having Anthos policy controller based on OPA gatekeeper and Kubernetes emission control such that one can govern all aspects of the usage and also audit. This means you could, for example, take a VM and say no VMs can ever have the name Ray in it. And we could enforce such a policy at that granularity. It's also extens extensible and customizable. So Kubernetes APIs allow for custom controllers to do any sorts of things. We've had customers build controllers that disallow launching of new code unless there's an associated launch process that's been approved. And 
Google Distributed Cloud Hosted Mode is a rich and open ecosystem. Because it's built on standard Kubernetes, one could use the entire community of software available to operate Kubernetes within GPC. GDC comes with much security and confidentiality features built in. A local certificate authority backed by an HSM is provided out of the box. This allows GDC to meet FIPS 140-2 level three compliance. In addition, GDC can be configured to work with an existing HSM provided by the customer. Secrets management is provided using the common secrets API, but it's backed by the HSM to make it secure. Also, GDC benefits from Google's investment in making GKE secure and all of the enhancements put into GKE so far, plus Google's contributions into the Kubernetes community. Identity and access management is supported using standard protocols like OADC and SAML 2.0, meaning it can be configured to work with existing identity providers that our customers have. And because it's Kubernetes all the way down, every aspect of the system is managed by Kubernetes role-based access control. If you know G GCP, you will understand that IAM is it's part of every control surface within Google Cloud Platform. Well, within Google Distributed Cloud, Kubernetes RBAC performs and operates at that same level, providing fine gain control over all resources. Additionally, supply chain security, a top concern, is something that we've been working hard both on the hardware and software side. We've been working with tier one providers in each region, and we require strong hardware supply chain security as part of the GDC OEM process. Additionally, the GKE and our Google security teams have been ensuring software supply chain security in the Kubernetes OSS stacks for years and years. And we've made many contributions to making Kubernetes a safe, reliable system to run workloads on. And lastly, everything you do or perform on Google Distributed Cloud hosted mode is audited. And these audit logs are compliant with the NIST 853 standards. Google Di Distributed Cloud hosted mode comes with a variety of services. And because it's built on Kubernetes, anything out in the open source community that runs on Kubernetes will also run on Google uh, Distributed Cloud. We are also working with third-party OEM providers to provide enterprise versions of popular open source packages, enabling first-class support and enterprise features. Lastly, I'm gonna chat about operations and support, a key concern when operating a cloud. Google Distributed Cloud Hosted Mode has a few different operational patterns to support customer needs, which Andy will cover later. But importantly, the bring up and deployment of GDC will be facilitated by Google every step of the way. As mentioned earlier, all the operational aspects are provided and operated by Google, meaning that Customers do not have to worry about patching and OS upgrades, BIOS firmware, CVE response, et cetera, et cetera, right? Instead, Google makes this largely push button or could even provide the support and operations to do that for you. Additionally, the ability to support an air gap deployments, Google Engineering is ensuring that every area comes with full detailed support and training resources. As an anecdote, Within the engineering organization for GDC, any pull request that's submitted must come with metadata for support and operations, which makes engineers think about the full life cycle up front, providing a higher reliability and operable system. And you know, regarding support, Google GDC can be used in trusted and air-gapped environments. Google has developed new support techniques and operational techniques derived from Google SRE best practices, allowing GDC to maintain a reliable SLO while also providing trusted users support without requiring any data to leave the GDC instance. Importantly, for all operations, Google is the only vendor a customer has to call. And lastly, localized management. So in addition to local UI, local APIs, control plane, everything being on uh, as part of the GDC instance in air-gapped or other environments, documentation and access to support is also built in meaning that users do not need any outside access to operate and use GDC. 
Now, in rare cases, if the customer desires faster support, we will offer a way to send sanitized logs so they can be shared with the core engineering teams, increasing support turnaround. With that, I'm going to pass the baton back to Andy. Thank you very much. Thank you, Ray. To sum it up, Google Distributed Cloud Hosted Mode gives you the power of cloud innovation with control, and it covers all aspects of sovereignty. Data is on customer premise or any data center designated by the end customer. It can be operated by a customer directly or by an operating partner that has the right credentials and the trust from the end customer. Google will train and work closely with those chosen partners to ensure the service availability. In certain scenarios, Google can also operate in the deployment directly with cleared and certified operational teams. It's built with open API. It means a lot when customers want to ensure business continuity in any potential black swan events. And it definitely helps to meet local government's regulatory requirements. Google Distributed Cloud Hosted Mode. The benefits of cloud delivered locally. This concludes our session. Thank you for listening. Thank you, Ray, for being part of this conversation. Thank you for having me, Andy. And I hope all of you have a great rest of the time at Next.